Hi everyone. So today I want to talk a little bit about the likelihood of confusion. Um, you may have heard this term. It's a term of art that comes up quite a bit if you are in the process of federally registering your trademark. So um, what, it, what it stands for basically is it's a protection in place to help um, two things. Customers from purchasing the wrong product or service from the wrong person. Um, and also to protect the person who holds that uh, trademark registration so they don't want anybody else to monetize on their um, on their federally protected work. So um, say I have um, Lawyer Eliza Ann as my trademark. If there's Eliza Ann out there who's selling, I don't know, pots and pans or has an animal shelter or something, uh, people aren't really going to confuse us. They might get caught up with the name and they look at it and they think, oh well, yeah, she's not a lawyer, wrong person. Um, so there's not a likelihood of confusion. However, if there's um, another attorney out there, lawyer Liz Ann, um, people might confuse us, especially if she's practicing uh, trademark law. That might be an issue. Somebody thinks they're hiring one of us and they're hiring the other one. Um, they have no idea. So it's in place for protections like that. So that's an example of it. If you have any questions on um, likelihood of confusion or trademarks, copyrights, Anything related to your entrepreneurship as you go on this journey to build your business, let me know. I'm more than happy to tackle any topics that, um, that you guys ask for. And if you're enjoying the tips on this channel, please feel free to subscribe on the little red button below. Thanks and have a great day.